Hello, welcome to my tutorials corner. This is Abhi and you're watching part 14 of WPF tutorials video series. In this video, we will learn to use the context menu in WPF. The context menu is the menu which pops up when we right click on any control. But remember, it pops up when menu exists for that control. We can use the context menu to show a set of commands for a specific control. To use the context menu, we must have to bind this with a specific control like text box, button, etc. To bind the context menu, we can use the context property of the controls. WPA provides this property for most of the controls because most of the controls inherits the framework element class and the context menu property is defined in that class. Actually, let me show you. Just to show you, I'm going to type text box. And from here, we can go to definition. You can see here the text box is inheriting the text box space. Go to definition and which is again inheriting the control class. And the control class is inheriting the framework element class. So inside the framework element class, we have the context menu property. So all the controls inherits this property from the framework element class. In the right, you can see there is a context menu, which have three items that is bold, italic and font size. Basically, I want to use these three items to set the font and font size of this rich text box. So let's go ahead and look at this in action. Let's get rid of this. So first of all, I'm going to create a rich text box. Let's name it txt message. And I'm going to fix its size to 300 and width to 400. Okay, now we have to create the context menu. So let's create the rich text box dot context menu. And inside that, let's create the context menu. Now we have to create the menu items bold, italic, and font size. Let's go ahead and create the menu item we have to set its header to bold the very first item text is bold and also I want to make the property of this menu item that is is checkable I want to mark that as true so when I will select this menu item I want to check that property so let's set this to true let's save this now we have to create the second menu item that is italic the third one is font size This time I'm not going to use this checkable property because I have to create the sub menu items for this menu item. So let's go ahead and create the sub menu for this. Inside that I want to create three menu items which will have the different font sizes from 20 pt to 10 pt so let's create the menu item item and i i want to set its header to 20 pt also i want to set its font size to 20 pt as well so we can easily understand that what size is going to apply 
on the rich text box let's change this to 15 pt and this to 10 pt 15 and 10 now when i will click on this menu item that is going to be checked so let's use the checked event of it checked let's create the event handler for this before that i want to set its name let's change its name to m item bold let's copy this and set the name for italic as well italic let's go ahead and now create the checked event handler create the new event handler also i want to create the event handler for unchecked event let's create the event handler for italic as well and now for uncheck let's create the event handler let's go to the code window and let's delete this there is no use of that so when the menu item is checked i want to set the rich text box font weight to bold so txt message dot font weight is equals to font weights dot bold let's copy this and now when the item is unchecked that is bold i want to make the font as normal let's create this normal the same thing we have to apply here in case of italic so let's txt message dot font style is equals to font styles dot italic let's copy this and paste here in case when user will uncheck this i want to make the font style to normal okay so all we are done now let's go ahead and run this code let's type something here hello this is my tutorials corner let's right click and set this to bold you can see the text became bold let's make it italic and you can see the text became italic let's uncheck this the font style became normal let's uncheck this and the font weight became normal now now we have to use these items too so let's go ahead and create the event handlers for them too this time i am going to use the click event handler so when the item is clicked i want to set the font size of that item before that i am going to set the name of them m item underscore 20 pt let's copy this and paste it here let's set this to 15 and 10 for this now create the event handler click and set the event handler for this and when this is clicked 
create the event handler for this. Let's set the font size. Txt message dot font size is equals to 20. Let's copy this and paste it here. Fifteen and ten. We can handle the same thing with a single method, but right now I am creating the event handlers individually for all the new items. So let's go ahead and run this code. Hello, and now go to font size. And set this to 20 pt so you can you can see the size increased to 20 pt let's click on the 15 pt and you can see the size decreases to 15 pt now if you will notice that the items inside this menu are coming horizontally items are set to horizontal manner so let's change the alignment to vertical let's go ahead and go to the menu section as we know that menu uses the stack panel internally to create the menu items so let's go ahead and change the orientation property of the stack panel to vertical but before that we will have to use the menu item panel and inside that there is another property that is item panel template and inside that let's create the stack panel and set the property orientation property to vertical let's go ahead and run this code so this should display the menu items in vertical order now you can see the items are aligned vertically now okay we can also use the built-in commands like cut paste copy so as we will use this the automatic functionality for cut paste and copy can be performed another thing we can use inside the context menu that is menu item icon suppose i want to display a icon before this bold text or I want to display icon before this italic text so how I can achieve that first of all I am going to copy these two icons to my project folder let's copy them and create a folder let's close this create a icons folder and let's paste them inside there now to create a menu item icon we have to create the menu item dot icon and inside that simply create the image and let's set the source of it source is equals to icons and bold dot png so this will display the bold icon before the bold text let's copy let's copy this from here and paste it inside the italic menu as well we 
have to copy the menu item dot icon to menu item dot icon let's change this to italic let's go ahead and run this code right click on it and you can see there is your icon before the text so in this way you can create the menu item icon for the context menu i have used the checked and click event for the menu item if you want to know more about the events you can visit this link this is the mstn link where you can find the detailed information about events and other properties here you can you can find other resources this is my blog you can find the code and other related articles on the wp of tutorial so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know your suggestions thanks for watching have a great day